praise the Lord. This time I'm going to turn the service on over to Sister Jennifer and she can sing and obey the Lord for us today. Hallelujah. just so happy to be in the house of the Lord tonight, Amen. or this Amen. afternoon, I guess you could say tonight, <laughs> uh, 2.33, so um, I praise the Lord for everything he's done in my life, and yeah, you know, I just, I love God, and um, there's just so much that he does for me that I can never repay him for, Amen. and I know he don't expect us to repay him, but you know, I feel obligated because he, he just continues to bless his wonderful people. Hallelujah. We'll try to sing a couple songs today.
somebody tell me the truth and me somehow, some way, make it into the kingdom of heaven. Then somebody butter up me a wine, make me feel good, and pat me on the back and give me a bag of salt, and then say, I'll end up in hell. So what do you want? Do you want the truth? Something that may make you fancy. Something that may make you uncomfortable. Something that may make you change your life. Oh, yes. Or do you want something that's going to let you continue in sin and then open your eyes up into a burning hell? Let oh, wow. fire and brimstone. It's so, it's so, it's so anyhow. People say you're mean, Sister Jennifer. I'm sorry if you feel that I'm mean. But I'd rather you call me mean and then you somehow go prick your heart and then you change your life over. You're going to be faking me blood. Yeah. Thank oh. you, old mean preacher. Thank you, old mean preacher lady. I tell you because I love you. I tell you because I care for you. I care for your heart and your soul. Because you ain't promised tomorrow and neither am I. If I knew. But I've heard people tell that story. If you knew there was a bridge out. And you just kept on letting people run up in it. But you didn't care. And you know, if you see that there was a, you come up on it and there were three or four cars was already in there and you was trying to wave them down and say, stop. Yeah, you can't. That's the way a preacher is. You're trying to tell them, stop. There's danger. There's death. Man. There's hell coming if you don't change your ways. Amen. But yet, we're the mean people. You know, you, you'd come up and some of them would say, oh, I'm not stopping. Oh, they better get out of my way. I'm going anyway. You mean people like that. Go so straight in to the bridge. Yeah. And when I say the bridge, I'm talking about the burning pits of hell because I'm giving you a carnal uh, definition of what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I care for people. Praise the Lord. When God changes you, you begin to care for people. Right. You begin to care about where their soul spends eternity. It ain't about yourself anymore. Yes, you gotta be saved and sanctified. Yes, you gotta do for you. But you gotta try to get others along the way. It's going with you. Without yeah. that, you wouldn't care. I don't want nobody to die and go to hell. I don't care how much you love me. I don't care how much you hate me. I don't want you to go to hell. Because I love you all. That's what I believe. Hallelujah. I wanted to uh, start reading in Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Hallelujah. I'm going to read several different places. And uh, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. Hallelujah. We got to be real for this, y'all. I'm going to tell you, I don't care how you was raised. I don't care if you're just a new convert, a baby in Christ. When you get real for God. Yeah, I've been in this my whole life, but I never had this walk that I have now. I never had this talk that I have now. When you let Jesus take that wheel, I'm telling you, you're going to get somewhere down the road. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. we got to be real for God. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Hallelujah. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me. And ye shall go and pray unto me. And I will hearken unto you. Hallelujah. You want to pray to God. You want him to hear your prayers. Yes. You're going to have to be sincere with him. Give it all you've got. And you shall seek me and find me. When you shall search for me with all of your heart. Yeah. Now I'm going to talk about searching for God with all of your heart. Yeah. Hallelujah. Without giving it your all. Without giving it your all of your heart. Wow. That's right. You're just, you know, they just perfect to me with your lips, but your heart is far from me. Yeah. Right. You can talk all day. Come on. Oh, yes. But until... You mean it with all your heart, your mind, and your soul. Amen. Then it's just pretty much in vain. That's right. Amen. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord, and I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither I have driven you, saith the Lord, and I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm talking about a powerful God today. Yeah. I'm talking about somebody that loves us. And he died upon that cross for us. That way we can have salvation. That way we can have freedom, you know, and have um, a forgiveness of our sins. Yes, 
Verse 5. Joshua 22, verse 5. But take diligent heed to do the commandments and the law which Moses, the servant of the Lord, charged you to love. And the verse says, if you love me, uh-oh, this is something y'all better listen to real good. If you love me, keep my commandments. Okay? She so told me. I gotta, I gotta love you and I gotta serve you and I gotta praise you with all my heart, my mind, my soul. I gotta do this. But it says, if you love me. Yeah. You're saying you love me. Wow. How so? I don't, I don't see anything. Are you keeping the commandments? Right. Are you keeping the word that I'm telling you to do? Are you keeping the word that I'm telling you not to do? Wow. If you love me, keep my commandments. Wow. Go to 1 John chapter 5. Hallelujah, yeah. I love this word. Yeah. His word is so true. First John chapter five. I'm sorry, first yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I told you right. First John chapter five, one through five. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone that loveth him, that the God loveth him also, that is begotten of him. By this, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and that, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? So we've got to love God, and loving God is keeping His commandments. Loving God is doing what the Word of God says. It's simple. It's simple. It's simple whenever. God, it's just put some magnifying glass. Oh, he takes that Holy Ghost, and whenever you get that Holy Ghost down in here, and you start reading that Bible, I don't care how many times you've read it, it's just like he puts a magnifying glass over yeah. the Word of God. Yeah. And he said, oh, Lord, that's what that means. Yeah. Man, why did you wait so long to tell me? Because I'm telling you, it's just, boof, you get revelation. You just keep on reading that Bible. You may say, well, some things don't make sense. I don't care if it don't make sense. Read it again and again. Yeah. Because um, God will give you revelation when you're praying and you're being dedicated. Right. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. I believe this. Amen. First John chapter 2, verse 1 through 4. First John chapter 2, verse 1 through 4 says, My little children, these things write out unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, this righteousness, the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And hereby, we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. You know him if. I if is a big word, if. We keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar. And the truth is not in him. So you say, you say that, you, you know, you're doing this and that, but if you ain't keeping his commandments, you're a liar and the truth's not in you is what it says. So we have to love God. We have to serve God with all of our heart, our mind, and our soul. We've got to put sin to death. We have to have, you know, just obey the Bible. We've got to keep you love blessing his name upon the most high. I love keeping him number one in my life. Because whenever you do that, you you begin to have a true spiritual walk with God. Yes. I can't explain it to you enough and express it to you enough of how true that is. And if I wouldn't experience it myself, then I wouldn't be able to tell you over and over again of how true it is. But um, just remember, you know, just do your very best. And whenever you 
learn something that's a sin in the Bible, try not to be rebellious. If you're having trouble with it, come before God and say, God, I'm struggling. Be honest with God. Because if you be honest with Him, He's going to be honest with you. You say, God, I, I heard the preacher preach on this and I've seen it in the Word of God. But Lord, I am just having a battle and this flesh has got to hold on me and this sin has got to hold on me. But you know what? Come to Him. He says, through God all things are possible. He can make a way. He will make a way. He can deliver you, set you free. He can do all things. And I love God. I truly do. Hallelujah. Uh, God bless y'all. Um, how about say something to help someone out there? In Jesus' name. God is love. Amen.